What's up guys, today I'm going to be looking at what the big announcements were from the Pokemon Direct video this afternoon. There was three big announcements made, so let's kick off by looking at what they were. Now the first one was Pokemon Bank, which is going to be a new service, a paid service for the 3DS. It's going to be an app you can download. And what Pokemon Bank allows you to do is transfer and well transfer your Pokemon into the app. It is basically cloud storage for all your Pokemon, so you can hold 3,000 Pokemon on it. It's going to cost roughly $5 a year. Now, $5 a year because that's what Kotaku says the service is launching at in Japan in the yen to dollar conversion, where it's about $5 a year. And funnily enough, it launches on December 25th, so Christmas Day. Whether or not that will be a worldwide release or whether or not that's just for Japan, it's yet to be, um, yet to be announced. But I mean, the service itself, I personally don't really have much of a use for it because I don't see myself um, sort of filling the boxes up that even in the game. But it is a good idea for people who um, train in Pokemon for tournaments, EV training and all that type of stuff. But the cool thing about it is, which is what would tempt me to buy, especially if the price is cheap, is how you can transfer them onto future generations. And what they mentioned in Pokemon Direct is how you can transfer these Pokemon down to your grandkids. Now, for me, that sounds awesome. The only thing I wish for was 10, 15 years ago, 15 years ago, 2003 now, uh, 2003, 10 years ago, 2013 now, so what I'd love liked is if this service was around 15 years ago when Pokemon Red, original, you know, still got it, original save file song here, I'm going to show you all that at a later date, but if this service was around when this bad boy was out, and you know I could transfer the Charizard again from here, now the way that Pokemon seems to be going, over the past couple of years, I mean with sort of the remakes, Fire Red, Heart Cold, things like that, it's definitely playing on the retro marketing side of things. I'm a master's in marketing, so I do know somewhat um, about marketing. And Pokemon are experts in nostalgic marketing, because you know, it's drawn people like me back in, who kids first time round, and they come back to it. And to be able to pass on Pokemon that kids are playing now, to maybe their younger brothers and sisters, or their kids in 10, 15 years time, whatever, it's you know it's a, it really is a good idea and if the service is cheap enough then you know why not but yeah that's my Pokemon Red Fire there so I'll uh, show you all that sometime soon now that was the, the big service that came out of it and Porky Transfer which is what lets you transfer the Pokemon through paid services then you had for me which was the best announcement joint well the next two announcements joint equally best and these were original and back baby they're back baby Charmander, Squirtle, Bulbasaur are returning. Not a starter Pokemon, but you'll get them from Professor Sycamore in the game. Now, it's unknown how far through the game you'll get them, but hopefully you get them pretty early on. Um, it'd be awesome to sort of be able to play as the original starters again. And I think this is a way to reintroduce the original Pokemon back into sort of um, like the current generation of games and sort of the younger people playing. And it's no coincidence that they've announced this and it's going to be the Pokemon Origins anime which is going to focus on uh, red and blue. Well, in the, in the videos that we've seen so far, it's red taking on Brock, but you know, Going back to the old Pokemon, there's no it's no coincidence to me, like I say, going back to that nostalgic marketing. That's what Nintendo seems to be going for you in Game Freak with their Pokemon. So you're gonna be able to pick Charmander, Squirtle, or Bulbasaur in Pokemon X and Y. Now who are you gonna pick? For me, Bulbasaur, Charmander, um, and Squirtle, they're all beasts. Absolute beasts, little bad boys. Then you know, Wartartle looks alright. Charmeleon looks like a prick. Like, you know, he acts like a prick in the anime. I you saw, little beast. But then when you go on the third stage of evolution, you know, Charizard and Blastoise, both absolute beasts. Venusaur just looks lazy. Just my thoughts, guys. So who are you going to pick for your sort of Kanto starters? And then following on from that, Mega Evolutions. And that's going to be the Mega Charizard, the Mega Blastoise, and the Mega Venusaur. Now for me, the Venusaur looks very similar to so you know, the normal Venusaur. Mega Charizard, you know, it looks a bit more dragon type. But for me, the highlight of the show is Mega Blastoise. Guy gets another freaking cannon on his back. There's some serious firepower. Should we say water power? 
punnery at its finest. But that's it for today guys, let me know like I say who you want to pick, which kind of start that you want to pick. And if the Pokemon Bank service, um, the service that you would like to pay for, like I say, I don't think I'll fill the boxes up, but if the service is cheap enough, I'd pay for it year in year out, if it means transferring Pokemon down each generation, it onto, each, onto each new game. That's it for me today guys, like I say, let me know who you're going to pick, and if you enjoyed the video, like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching guys, I'm Matt Lane, out.